Hello, welcome back to Bucks County Beer Reviews. Back in the beer basement today, it's a bit overcast. They're expecting rain. And uh, so we're back down here in the basement. And today, we're going to try Garcia's Forest. This is from Free Will Brewing Company. This is a Bucks County, Pennsylvania brew. It's brewed in Pricasy, Pennsylvania. It's a hazy IPA, and it's a 7.1% ABV. And this one, they, they don't put the dates on the can there yet, free will. It would be nice if you would start doing that. But I think this is a newer one. Uh, my beer store, B&B &B Beverages, in Doylestown has a Facebook page, and they posted this having just come in. So, uh, let's see. <clears throat> On untapped, this gets a 3.98 with a 1,700 ratings. It's an IPA brewed with flaked oats and wheat, hopped in both the kettle and during fermentation with citra, mosaic, and Chinook hops. We always describe this one as our new age meets West Coast IPA. This has an amplified dank quality compared to some of our more recents which perfectly complement juicy grapefruit character and notes of tangelo, white peach, and honeydew. I don't know if I'm familiar with tangelo. That sounds a little weird, but probably just me. Well, anyway, I'm going to use this glass today. Let's crack her open and see what it looks like. Garcia's Forest. Free Will Brewing. I like the name of the brewery. Here we go. That's a bit of a fruity, uh, almost like grapefruit and pineapple. But let's see what it looks like. It has a nice aroma. It is hazy. It has a very pleasant aroma. Pineapple, grapefruit, and hoppy. It smells delicious. I try the head. <clears throat> very nice flavor in the head. Citrusy, robust. Uh, can I pick out the indi individual fruits? Um, it's more of just a basic citrusy flavor. It's a good looking beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's very smooth, has a nice mouthfeel, medium to medium to heavy, creamy like. Mostly you get the citrus, they say dank, <clears throat> somewhat dank. I'm not really good with dank. I mean, other than one beer I've had that was smelled like marijuana, dank is elusive to me. I guess I do pick up hints of pineapple and grapefruit. Anybody that likes hazy IPAs is going to like this one. Got nice lacing. The 
let's get the last bit in the glass here. I sent one of these down to Dave's TV. He'll be reviewing it. Probably, I think he said his views, uh, reviews of the beers I sent him are going to come out in May. So watch for that one. If you're not subscribed to Dave's TV, I recommend checking him out. Post some good videos, good beer reviews. He's down in Florida. This one is good. I can't say I love it. It's mostly a citrus, hazy. It has a nice mouthfeel, like I said. It's not too sweet. Uh, sugar cubes, I would say it's about three. Three to three and a half sugar cubes. So it's a, it is sweet, but not overly sweet. And as far as bitterness goes, it kind of has that citrusy, pithy bitterness, but not really, not really strong. Two and a half uh, hop cones. Two and a half to three. I didn't see anything on IBUs on this beer. On, uh, I might have just forgot to look for it. I don't remember. But it's it's not very bitter. Not real bitter. Kind of middle of the road. It's easy to drink. I'm putting it down pretty fast. I got to save some for a photograph. For a grade on this one... Uh, I think I would lean towards a B plus, 88 out of 100. Now that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I sure appreciate it. And I'm not sure what I'm doing next. It'll be a surprise to you and me. Have a good day. Bye.